Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. Today we're going to be setting up a different kind of Bluetooth adapter, but one that I would encourage everyone to consider adding to their master console kit bag of tricks. There are times when you can't be next to a device, whether it be Cisco, Juniper, what have you, because of the cabinet it's in, uh, conditions in the area, because if it's a construction area, you may not be able to be as close as you would like to for direct serial contact. A company by the name of Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, most known for their work in the utility sector, has a device they have come out with that I think any of us who work in the IT side should definitely take a look at. It's called the SEL2924. It's a Bluetooth to serial adapter. And you'll see from my article on uh, www.ronnutter.com a little more about this. What we're going to go through is setting it up on a Mac. And there's a little bit of a difference in Windows, but not much. First thing we'll need to do, and you can see from up here, we'll first turn on Bluetooth. And once it comes up, and then we'll go down here to Open Bluetooth Preferences, and you'll see that it doesn't know about it yet. So what we'll do is we will make sure that our SEL device is turned on. It takes you just a second or two to come up, and you'll see it immediately go into a pairing uh, configuration. So we'll click on the plus adapter, and it's going to find it takes just a second to find it here, but nothing uh, that won't be a, a big deal first time you do it. And you'll see right here it's found it's blue and it comes up and that's actually the part of the MAC address of the device. So we'll click on continue. Now it's going to try to pair with the default address of all zeros. We have to go in and change that because by default from the factory it will actually come set up for the code you're seeing here. That is something that I would encourage you to change right away. And once you go through and click continue, then it'll come up and pair with it almost in a few seconds. And then you'll see it here. Now, don't be too concerned when you see the showing is not connected. It has paired, but until you establish a serial session from whatever terminal emulation program you're using, it's it's not going to connect. And it took me a while to kind of get past that one. So we'll go through here. I've already got secure CRT up and running. We'll click on connect. Go to quick connect. And you'll see that it's already got it highlighted here. That's because I was working with it a little bit earlier before we started this recording. And again, you know, that you'll, that's a name you'll become familiar with because it will match to the device you've got. We'll go ahead and set up for 9600-891. And just from working with Cisco, I always turn off RTS-CTS. Click connect. It'll take it just a second to, uh, to establish. And you'll see the header come up. And at that point, you have got your session in. So enter and you're in. So that is, from a Mac standpoint, is all you have to do. Now from the Windows side, and I'll go into this a little bit more in my column, setup's a little bit different, but that's because of a quirk in Windows, and I've talked with the folks at SCL. They're trying to see what they can do to get around it, but so far it's something in Windows the way Windows detects Bluetooth. But from what you've seen here, this is just like having serial access, but you can be, you know, 100 feet away not any problem, which is probably further than a lot of us will be in. But this shows you how to to, uh, to get it up and running, as you can see, very, uh, very timely access. Thank you for listening, and uh, please read the rest of the article on my website. Again, that's www.ronnutter.com. Thank you for listening and for reading.